Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, here to show you how to update the BIOS on your Strix Gaming Wi-Fi 2. If you've built this into a nice PC, then chances are you want to update the BIOS to improve stability, or maybe for some other reason. Turn your PC on and mash the delete key until you end up in the BIOS. We're going to make a couple of checks first of all, and then I'm going to show you what to do. So first thing to do is to go into your BIOS and check your current BIOS version. You can see mine is 0801. Then we need to head over to the ASUS website for this particular motherboard. Make sure you've got the same model, otherwise this may cause issues, so it's important that you know that first. You head over to the support page and then driver and utility and then latest BIOS and firmware updates. Find that and download it. Obviously you want to make sure you're downloading the one for your system and the newest one because it'll update properly. So you'll see that this one reverts to factory default settings for power limits and improves stability in certain games and it's noted there. So download that and then we need to extract the file. So go to your downloads, right click and click extract all and then extract it to a USB stick which you've already formatted and put it in there. Now, once this is done, you should find that you have a couple of files in there. So what I'm going to do is actually make a copy of the main cap file and then use the BIOS renamer tool to change the name of it to A5459, which is what it defaults as, and then just delete copy off the end of that cap file. The reason for that is there's two different ways to update your BIOS that I want to quickly show you. One is really straightforward, but a little bit more intimidating, I think, and that is using the BIOS USB port on your motherboard. So you see it marked BIOS here. What you want to do is to put your drive into that BIOS port, and then what you can do is you can press and hold the BIOS flashback button on your motherboard if you happen to have one and wait until the little light comes on and lets you know that's working and then it will just keep flashing while it's doing the BIOS process and then it, when it goes off it's finished. That's pretty intimidating though I think this one is a bit more straightforward and that's going into your BIOS and then we're looking for the tool section under the advanced sections for easy flash 3 and in there you then find the BIOS file that we've got so the main one and then click to read it. Now you need to take care with any BIOS update that you don't power off your system while it's happening. It does take quite some time and your system will turn off and on again repeatedly. So it's best just to wait for the whole thing to finish. Don't panic at any point and just let it do it. It takes quite some time. So be patient and be careful. BIOS updates can cause problems if not done properly. And they generally warn you not to do them unless you really need to. But obviously if you've got i9 stability issues, then you definitely do need to do this BIOS update because it will help a great deal assuming that you've got the, a new BIOS update for your system. Then what you need to do is go back into the BIOS and check and look and you'll see in the top left corner we're now running BIOS version 1202. Re-enable XMP because all of your settings may have been set to default and thereby broken if you had anything else in there. For example, resizable bar may also need turning back on and that's worth doing as well. Once that's done, then click to exit. So in the advanced mode, you'll see that you can click save changes and reset. On the easy one, you should find the exit button as well. It'll let you know what you've changed and then you can reboot back into Windows and hopefully go about gaming happily with no other problems. This has been the Provoke Prawn. If you found this useful, check out the links in the description to other related content you might also find helpful. And thanks very much for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.